Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to mine a relative new coin that is profitable and revolutionary in its concept. It's called Ironfish and I think this one has a lot of potential given what's proposing also because it's early in the game. We can start accumulating and benefiting from low cash rates and rewards. I will show you how to run a full node, how to get a wallet, how to mine both in Windows and Hive OS and we'll go over some of the overclock settings as well. Let's get into it. Alright, head over to ironfish.network and here you can read everything about this new coin which has kind of a revolutionary concept. Ironfish encrypts every transaction, shielding from sensitive asset information from public view with read-only view keys, you remain compliant and in control. This is a US-based company and they just uh, recently released on mainnet. So you can see here, uh, that's Elena Nadolinsky, uh, she's the CEO and founder of Ironfish. They, they just released on mainnet on uh, March 14th. Uh, you can see here on Pi Day. Okay, so first step is to get a wallet. So let's let's go ahead and start out, uh, the wallet. Now, there is no desktop wallet yet, so what we need to do is we gotta go here to use, uh, get started here. And here what you can see is how to run a um, Ironfish node. So we're, we're gonna run a node. For that, we gotta install Ironfish installation. So let's go over these steps. Install or update Ironfish win for Mac. All right, so we need to install number one is node, node.js18. So let's go ahead and download this guy. All right, I'm gonna do Windows first. Okay, that's the file, double click, install. Yeah, welcome to the node.js. All right, yep, yep, next. I agree, next. Okay, I'm gonna change this to uh, F here, okay, next, next, automatically install the necessary tools, yes, click that checkbox, next, install, yes, alright, doing the install right now, let's, let's uh, let it finish, Okay, completed the node.js setup, finish, great. Press any key to continue, okay. Scribble direct chocolate lead to install packages, okay. All right, let it, let's this uh, script finish. Yes, All right, we got a Windows PowerShell now open. Installation is completed, backup fold is no longer needed, we can delete it. Have Python, I have uh, Python 3.11 installed, version 3.11 is available on your source. All right, so downloading, it's downloading the packages right now, Python. All right, after the PowerShell uh, window open and you know you see all the Python files installed, you said type enter to exit, so we're gonna type enter. All right, and we exit. All right, so let's go to the next step. We did the installation next, uh, installed a command line git client. So let's go ahead and click there. All right, let's do for Windows. All right, I'm gonna install that one. Click here to download. Double click, yes. Install. I have previous git. Uh, version so I'm, I'm updating here let's let install this all right completing the git setup wizard okay finish let's continue with the steps here i'm not going to open this right now let's continue with step all right so we did that uh step number two now finally run the following command so what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to type this command npm install minus g I don't fish. So we copy this. I'm gonna open a PowerShell here. PowerShell Ras Admin. Alright, yes. Alright, what I'm gonna do is install Ironfish. Alright, ideal tree is installing. Okay, install there.
Okay, we're installing this update npm at 9.697. So the, the actual command is npm install minus g npm at 9.6.7. All right, uh, 27 packages are looking for funding. Run npm fund. Fund. So npm fund. Right. All right, perfect. We're done here. All right, let's go back and now uh, finally run. Finally, we did that. Now you all set. Run the iron fish cli. So let's go ahead and run iron fish. Let's go back to the PowerShell. Let's see. Iron fish. Fish. Okay, it's running. All right, uh, blocks here, commands, perfect. Let's keep going. Terminal, yep, we've seen this. Exactly what we've seen. Migrate to mainnet to make sure your node is set to run on mainnet. Use Iron Fish mainnet. Update Iron Fish and, and, and all right, so let's do that. Iron Fish mainnet. Let's, let's make sure we're running on mainnet now. Iron Fish. Mainnet. You are all to migrate your Ionfish data to mainnet. Your wallet accounts and no configuration will be saved. This data directory will be migrated. All right. Yes. Migrating data. Data migrated successfully. Awesome. So migrate to uh, uh, mainnet. All right. So let's continue with the next step. This is an alternative installation method if you want to use Docker. All right, let's go to the next one, run a node. Start the node by uh, typing ironfish start. So let's go ahead and do that. Ironfish start. All right, let's see. Okay. New Finder Firewalls have blocked some features, allow access. Right, we see the symbol there. We see an account database because it has a phone chain. And soccer, all right, so requesting blocks. All right, so it's, it started. All right, I'm gonna let this finish. It's, it's syncing the entire blockchain, so we'll see how long it takes. Let, let it sync. All right, it took a couple of hours, but now we are synced, so. Let that uh, run in the background, so I'm gonna minimize it. And now let's open a new PowerShell here, and you're gonna type ironfish space status space dash f. And we're gonna check on the status of our node. Hit enter. All right, let's see. All right, and you can see here the node says started, which is which is good. And then mainnet your PID and and it's connected. So this is uh, proof that it's working. Now if you wanna see as a reference here, I can see reference health of your node. Tap here, uh, item fish status minus F or dash F, started node, node is running. If it says stop, uh, node is not running, start with item fish start, an error, there's an error. So that's that's how you check on how your node is doing. All right, let's minimize that and let's go back to the list here. Uh, we run a node, set up an account, that's next. So. Uh, by default, your node creates an account when you start your node for the first time. You can create a new account at any time uh, with the following command, iron fish wallet, colon create. You can create a new account uh, for your wallet. Now, we already have an account, as it says here, you know, when you start the node, you have the very first time you have an account created. So we're gonna go and retrieve that. Let's see the wallet section here. All right, iron fish wallet help. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna open this PowerShell. All right, and what we want from here is wallet colon address because we want to know our public address. So we're going to copy that. <clears throat> I'm going to type here, I don't fish wallet colon address. All right, let's, let's here. Thinking, all right, so you got your public key. So here's your public key. You're going to copy this and keep it safe. Uh, or you can always reference back and say uh, the same command, right? Uh, wallet colon um, address. And here you have all the, the commands, right? So you have accounts. If you type uh, ironfish wallet column commands, accounts, I'm sorry, accounts. Uh, if you have multiple accounts, uh, they're gonna be displayed there. 
uh, we only have one so that's my account so uh, if you want to create um, more accounts all you gotta do is uh, here it says uh, wallet commands account creation all right so if you want to create a new account you just do item fish wallet create and you create a new and you will get a new public address all right so we are done running the node and creating an account so now we're ready to start mining let's do the fun stuff so i'm going to minimize that let's go to hash rate .no, and then uh look for your gpu here or your gpus uh that's how i start i'm going to use my 3060 ti here and then with that, I'm gonna have an, uh, an estimation of how much I, I'm, I'm gonna make and how much power it's gonna consume. So let's see, Iron Fish is the third today. Uh, it's using 70 watts. Uh, it's making 23 cents uh, per day. And then the profit given, uh, the profit is 0.06 given the cost of electricity. So it's just six cents per day per unit. So, all right, I'm gonna click there. All right, here you have the overclock settings, the offset, 300 megahertz. Let's see, megahertz. Uh, core clock, uh, 1500 megahertz. No offset for the memory, a memory clock, uh, 810. Power limit, 170 watts. All right, so we got the OC settings there. Um, and we're gonna put those in the miner here in a minute. So now we gotta choose the miner. You have, we recommend using LOL miner or Regel. For mining iron fish with a 3060 ti i'm gonna use lol miner i know some people use uh regel i'm not sure i haven't used it yet so i'm gonna try this lol miner again i know it all right and now i'm here at the lol miner releases in github so i'm gonna paste this link in the description below latest is 1.76 we're gonna download this now i just read that the improved this is based on blake 3 right uh, <clears throat> what we're gonna be using for uh, to mine this coin, but Blake 3 Iron Fish mining on NVIDIA, Turing, and newer cars, the performance increased uh, by 9 to 11%. So, this is really good. Um, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely use this LOL mining and then see the results. All right, let's go ahead and download for Windows here. Click, yep, uh, gonna say keep, and it says make sure you trust LOL miner. I'm gonna say keep anyway. All right, so open file. All right, I got LOL miner here. Now let's select the pool. So let's go to mining pool stats, that stream. And here you, you need to search for iron fish. Iron fish, that came up right there. So you can see the number one is hero miners. And then you see a bunch of pools. You, you choose whatever you want based on your location and preference. I'm gonna use hero miners. So I'm gonna cast most of the hash right here, uh, 71.8. All right, so let's pick that one up. All right, and today we're gonna be, uh, depending on your location, you say it's start. And here, depending on your location, you're gonna use that server. The port for, uh, is that one, 1145. So I'm in America here, east, so I'm gonna use that one. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the miner, uh, locate the mine underscore iron fish, that, that bat, the batch file, edit. All right, we need to replace first the pool. So let's copy from here, depending on your location, go ahead and copy that pool, that location URL. All right, let's go back here. I'm gonna replace that there. I'm gonna leave the same port because it's the same port for all of them. Then the wallet, so go back to your uh, PowerShell. All right, here we're gonna copy the uh, public key. So I'm gonna copy that. Control C. If you don't remember how to use what your pub, um, public key is, just type Iron Fish Space Wallet colon address and you will get it for your account. So let's go back here, replace all this. All right, Control V, paste, and here's your uh, LO, your worker. So you're gonna name here your worker. I'm gonna name 3060Ti. So I remember what it is. Now we go over the extra parameters here. All right, so uh, let's go back to the uh, hash rate that I know. All right, let's choose the GPU. I'm sorry, that's that's if you want to buy one. Let's choose the GPU here. All right, Iron Fish, and we're here. So it says the minor options for LOL. 
just copy all these which are the offset or you can copy here copy there perfect uh, which are the offset here is it the clock offset the clock uh, lock 1500 and the memory clock lock uh, 810 and the power limit of 170 so you just copy all this and you're good to go copy all right let's go back to the batch file i'm gonna put all this here all right that sounds good let's save all right and we're good now so let's go ahead and kick this off minimize it open let's see okay right click run as an admin yes all right let's see if you run it as an admin you know you see the offsets are applied all the all oc settings are applied uh, that's why you run it as an admin let's let's wait for the miner to start All right, and we're mining here. Uh, let's see, four shares, power 69.8, all right. And we can see the speed is 9,100 mega hash per second. So, <clears throat> let's see, yeah, 9,000 mega hash per second, all right. So let's go back and confirm, let it run and for a little bit, and then let's, let's confirm the, the, the hash rate that we're getting. All right, I'm back here at the hash rate uh, .no, uh, site where we have the GPU selected NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti and says uh, it's able to achieve a performance of 9,970 mega hash per second while Ironfish perfect uh, with Blake 3 Ironfish. All right, and let's see, and it says that the power report is around 71. So let's, let's confirm what we're doing, we're getting right now. Okay, and when I started, I got around 9,000. You can see here 9,069.8 power watts in terms of watts. Um, so right on spot of what the uh, hash rate that I know is saying, 9,970 with 70 watts. So uh, it's just that while I'm recording the video, it drops significantly, so I can't really measure while I'm recording this video. Um, but this is how you mine uh, Ironfish on Windows. Let's move into now how to mine it on HiveOS. All right, let's switch to HiveOS now. So I've been using this rig with 660 600 XTs, and you can see here, uh, mining Ironfish using Blake um, 3, and um, you know the output is around, what, 7, 7,000 uh, hash per second or 7 uh, giga hash per second. So that's, that's about what I'm getting. Let's double check on the uh, on the hash rate I know, let's see, 6600, the 6600 should be around 7100 mega hash per second, okay? So we are around that, that right there, uh, with 47 watts, and my rig is using around 68, 67 watts, so a little bit higher of what's uh, the reported, right, uh, <clears throat> hash rate and, 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 and power usage. All right, let me show you how to set up your rig. It's really simple. Go to your farm, and then you're gonna click fly sheets. You're gonna select the coin, Just type iron. There it is, iron fish. The wallet, I already have one, but you need to add a wallet if you haven't created one. You're just gonna go to your PowerShell and grab the wallet from the public key that we saw. You're gonna copy that, all right. Make sure I copyright there. I got perfect. You're gonna just paste it there. Enter a wallet name, I don't fish, or whatever you want. Just create. Okay, perfect. Select the pool. I'm gonna use the same Hero Miners. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna use East. There it is, apply. Then select the miner. In this case, I'm gonna keep using LOL miner. So go ahead and do LOL miner. Then set up. Then everything comes by default here the wallet. The working name, you can type it here. Uh, the pool service there, port is there, pass is an X, and that's it. Apply the changes. All right, and now you're gonna go to your rig. I'm using that one. And you're gonna apply the fly sheet. So you're gonna go here, and you're gonna apply it. Just gonna click here and apply it. Now, let's go over the 
once it runs for a little, little, little run for a little bit, let's go over the overclock settings. For overclock settings, go back to hash rate I don't know. Look for your GPU, and once you find your GPU, you're gonna have the overclock settings right there. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my rig. I'm gonna put it on the side here. Uh, leave this tool, and then you're gonna select the overclocks here all. And you can, if you if you have the same GPUs, you're just gonna apply one value. Otherwise, you're gonna apply each value separated by space, right? Like depending on how many GPUs you have. I just have the same GPU, so I'm gonna apply only one value. Um, and here you have the overclock, uh, 1900 mega hash for this particular uh, car, which is the 6600 XT. The core, the core uh, voltage, the MV here is 7075. Memory controller voltage, 7075. Memory clock is 1050. Uh, where is it? 1050 RAM memory clock. And the, and the memory uh, voltage is 1275, so it's right there, MVDD, right there. Make sure you, you apply in the right place. If you're not sure, just click here on the information and you, you'll see. It says MVDD, or here, say MVDD CI, so you can relate to this uh, value. And then you save it, um, <clears throat> and it should be good to go. I mean, I'm getting kind of the expected value on a 6600 XT a little bit higher uh, power usage. Now let's go back to the pool. Um, where's my pool here? Let's go back to the pool, here it is. This is uh, Hero Miners. So what you wanna do is you wanna type your um, wallet address there. You're gonna copy, again, from the um, <clears throat> PowerShell. You're gonna copy your public address there. And you're gonna paste it there, look up. And then it's gonna tell you the, the current hash rate and the average an hour, one hour average, six hour, 24. Um, and you can see here, if you type, you get in. Uh, this is the, my, that's just my one uh, mining rig, uh, generating 15 irons per month. That's around 27, a current rate, $27 per month current rate. So go ahead and check that. Uh, you can also modify, uh, your minimum payments, you, you can check here, I believe. Uh, yeah, you can minif, minif, modify the minimum payment there. Right now it's a 0.05, all right. And once you start getting paid, what you wanna do is you wanna go back to your, let's go back to the reference page here. Let's see, what was that uh, here? Uh, transacting, so mm, transactions, I don't wish what send, this is if you wanna send, receive transactions. Um, you just want to provide your wallet address. Yep, we know that. View the transaction. If you want to see the transaction, you just type Ironfish space wallet colon transactions, and you're going to see the transactions once you start getting payments. Uh, the same with the balance. You can say Ironfish wallet colon balance. So you have everything. You have it here. Um, so it's a good reference uh, page here. Okay, and we are done. We just covered how to run a node, how to run and create a wallet and how to run uh, both on Windows and Hive OS. So now you know you can play with the OC settings. Uh, one more thing that we wanna check is, I wanna check the price. Um, let's see, Iron Fish is currently at 172. At one point it reached, at the beginning it was 7.18. That would be sweet if we go back to those values. I believe there's, there, there's been some selling pressure here, but it's kind of stabilizing right now, so we'll see. Um, Let's see if we can keep accumulating. Uh, maybe this is one of those coins that you wanna start selling initially, uh, just to recover the price of the of the power and the electricity. Uh, we'll see the future. It, it, it does look like this a really serious project and uh, it's really uh, innovative and, and, and needed, right? Because privacy uh, and the way they're handling privacy, it seems like it's needed. So. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about uh, Iron Fish. If you're going to start mining Iron Fish, if you have any questions, running any trouble, I'll try to help you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.